I've been silent for a while now, watching the television, seeing what's going on worldwide. And I am amazedly intrigued, astonished by what's going on in Hong Kong and praying to God that we should we would have had citizen like the citizen in Hong Kong and Puerto Rico. We had one little fella there, one little hen field, chicken field fella, that got a march, got some head base. But as soon as Dr. Menes saw that, they gave him one blue plate. Now he's silenced forever. Have no integrity. That's what we get in this country. You imagine what's going on in Hong Kong and what happened in Puerto Rico. If we had some people in this country that had some internal fortitude, some integrity, and to hold government accountable, what could be accomplished and what could have been achieved in this country? We now have a new government, FNM government, new government, and two and a half years, ask yourself, what have they done to improve the quality of life for Bohemians? This Hubert Minnis government has devalued our dollar in the Bahamas. We love talking about international people um, devaluing our dollar. But if you think about it, this FNM government has devalued our dollar by 12%. What you could have got for a dollar before the FNM came into power, you no longer can do that. The gasoline that you put in your car, that dollar is now 12%. So indirectly, indirectly, the FNM has devalued the Bahamas dollar to the lowest it's been in my lifetime. And there's no end in sight. They came in power. They, the FNM government, came in power because of what money. They said that the PLP stole the money. They don't know what they've done with it. And the people of the Bahamas believe that. I am one of that, them that believe that because I didn't see where the rat money went. Now, two and a half years in, more what money has been collected than ever being collected in the history of this country. Our money being devalued by 12%. And nobody to date has told the Bahamian people where is the VAT money. That money could have buy a new Nassau. Wouldn't talk about a power station. You imagine how much business the business people has lost. Here in Abaco, we had instances that the power's been off for six hours. Nobody said nothing to nobody. And you imagine this has been happening in Nassau for two and a half years, and nobody has hit to the street of Bay Street to protest and demand better. They're looking for a spirit to tell them what to do. A spirit got to come upon them. And then this morning, a damning report by the leader of the opposition, Brave Davis, when he said that these guys signed stuff that they didn't even tell the people of the Bahamas what they signed. It's like the Dundestan Town Committee here, one of the most corrupt local government organization in the Bahamas. They do what they want to do because they think the people's money belongs to them and their daddy and their children. So they give contracts to whoever they want to. 
do whatever they want to without any check and balance. And I don't see any positive thing that has come of this government in two and a half years. What is happening with the Albies Ferry, biggest big deal? The Haitians that y'all think he ain't got no brains, they got more brains and sense than all the Bahamas. They got more sense in the immigration. They got more fence, sense in the defense force because the defense force get a $140 million boat. Them brothers sailing right by with a $2,000 um, boat and sailing right by the $140 million boat with all kind of high tech. So who's the fool? Not the Haitians, the Bohemians. And then you got the police. And Abaco, they're putting all restriction on people that had license, especially at this airport. Every other month, they dictating to you where you should go, how you should pick up your people. Mind, they don't recognize that they are working for us to protect and to serve. They're not hired to dictate to Kai Mills, nor to direct my part because I'm self-employed. And you have 3,000 Haitians down in the mud that has a record going on for years. They got a bar, restaurant, liquor store, barber shops, shoe shops, farmer's market. Neither one of them have a license and neither one of them has been put before the courts by the Marshal of Police. I wonder why. Who is paying who? And you imagine I'm a licensed taxi driver. Nobody in Marshall has been driving taxi longer than Kai Mills. I'm the longest driver of taxi tour operator in Marshall. But today, nobody has been here longer than me. But because I speak up, speak out, point out the wrong, there is a problem. I was at the zone last night and I don't want to even call this guy a friend. 